So um, I've been playing with uh, CCDs a bit, and um, I thought I'd do a quick video with like the the progress so far with these CD CCDs. Um, so I picked up a bunch of old uh, Canon XC60. I think they're called PowerShot 450s in Europe. Um, in uh, Akihabara, and they were like they're like five dollars each. So I picked up a bunch. But they're basically like compact cameras, um, you know, something, something like this. Um, but they're five megapixel uh, cameras, so they're not not very up to date. But they use CCDs um, rather than like a CMOS sensor, um, and that's interesting because um, you know, CCDs are basically analog parts rather than uh, throwing out like a digital signal, like a CMOS sensor. They throw out like a, a serial analog stream at, at like 30 megahertz which then needs to go into an analog di to digital conversion for uh, uh, processing so i've pulled apart uh, the xc60 and you can see all the parts like laid out so i could kind of probe around and stuff um, this is the ccd uh, and this is what they actually kind of look like um, you know when you pull them out when you pull it out of the camera but i i've stuck it on a piece of uh, strip board and um, broken out a couple of the pins on the BNC connectors. And I actually went through and probed out all of the pins so I could see what was going on um, and identified like uh, these two pins as seemingly seeming to have like uh, the analog output data. And as I said, like the CCDs are analog um, devices. So they throw out like an analog, continuous analog uh, stream of data. So like uh, a frame and pixel clock comes in and then on the, uh, um, on the output you'll see like an analog uh, level representing the intensity on that, um, at, you know, at a particular location on the CCD. And this is like what it's supposed to look like from my like, Googling around is you get like a glitch at the beginning of the pixel level then a reference level comes out and then a data level. So it's like a, a time domain um, differential uh, signal that comes out. So you measure the, the difference between the reference level and the data level. Now I haven't been able to exactly see that on, on the scope, but I can kind of see a signal that varies with intensity. So um, I'm just gonna go through that uh, now and see if we can see uh, some signals. I have to turn the camera on. Yeah, so this is the other annoying thing about these cameras is that if you don't have um, the lens mechanics installed, the camera won't power up. And that's because it will look for its like limit switches, its optical limits. Um, and uh, if it doesn't hit those, you know, it will just, it will just error out. You won't see anything. And you're not going to see anything on the display here because I've, I've actually detached the pins that that have the V-out signal on them and they go directly to the BNCs. If they were, if I tried to probe them while they were in, in circuit, I just, I wasn't seeing anything. So, um, that's the kind of CCD uh, camera setup and I'm get, coming off on a couple of pins to the scope. Um, and uh, there's a blog post about that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm applying um, just illumination with this variable light ring uh, so I can kind of see what's what's going on um, okay so this is the see how we're going to do the scope um, stuff uh, so this is the scope output um, and uh, I'm gonna have to So I've just attached channel two to um, like the frame uh, frame clock, just to get everything uh, triggered properly, and then um, this is this is the data output. Yeah, so you can see the frame clock clock on the uh, on the bottom, which is actually like um, it's like a 20 volt peak to peak signal. So this is the frame clock here. So this should be like an entire frame of data. Now at the beginning, the high level is actually I think. Uh, dark and, I, and on CCDs there tends to be like a row of reference dark pixels is my understanding. So this is now like illuminated um, and I can uh, 
turn the illumination up and down and we can see it getting kind of brighter uh, and darker. Now, there's kind of something funky about this because it actually seems to, I, I think it's probably a triggering thing. This is, the camera keeps turning itself off. Um, but uh, as it gets lighter and darker, you actually see more or less of the pixels kind of lighting up, which is a bit weird. Um, and it may be either a triggering thing or a focusing thing. I'm not, I'm not sure. But you can do the same thing just by occluding the sensor. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's just a basic kind of output of a scope. Um, if I look at like uh, trigger channel one. Right, so this is actually like the signal that you're seeing, and again, you can see it like getting. This is me covering it and uncovering it, um, but you can see it varying with uh, intensity, light intensity. But it doesn't look like that. Um, it doesn't look like that waveform that I saw in the, uh, the from my googling. So something a bit weird is going on there. But the next stage that I'm going to now is just trying to read all of this data into a uh, USRP to see if I can actually decode some images um, and understand a bit better what's going on. So I've got a USRP um, uh, in parallel with the scope. So this is just this is a USRP one. Uh, so it's not you know I can do kind of two two megahertz continuous capture on my laptop with this at best. Um, but that's coming out of the same pin. And then I've written a little bit of code uh, that, uh, if you can see it, uh, that just takes an average of a few hundred data points. And again, we should be able to see that. Yeah. So if you can see that, that's dark. Okay, I camera just switched off. Um, so that's dark, and then if I bring it up bright, you can see the intensity value varying at least. So I'm getting some data into the PC. So now um, the next thing is I want to get some, uh, like see if I can get the lens back on top of that CCD and then um, see if I can actually get some very rough kind of image data decoded uh, via the USIP just to verify that this is actually not just a global intensity value that I'm seeing, it's actually like uh, like image data, which would be cool. And then hopefully after that I can build a, my own PCB and uh, try and interface to the CCD directly and generate uh, the frame and uh, frame row and pixel clocks that you need to fully drive the LCD.